In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, our Father, Emmanuel, Aria, and Allah share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short of lecture and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of um, Thursday, 9 May 2024, Solemnity of the Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. The readings are taken from Acts 1, 1 to 11, Psalm 46, 2 to 3, 6 to 9, Ephesians 4, 1 to 7, 11 to 13, and Mark 16, 15 to 20. The theme of the collection is how to wait for the Father's promise. How to wait for the Father's promise. The first reading says, In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For forty days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he, had been, when he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about, John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now, having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sides. They were still staring into the sky, when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken out from you, into heaven the same jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there and the second reading says i the prisoner in the lord implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation bear with one another charitably in complete selflessness gentleness and patience do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is one body, one Spirit, just as you were all called into one and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of all, over all, through all, and within all. Each one of us, however, has been given his own share of grace, given as Christ allotted it. It all said that he would. When he ascended to the height, he captured uh, prisoners. He gave gifts to men. When it says he ascended, uh, what can it mean? If not that, he descended right down to the lower regions of the earth. The one who rose higher than all the heavens to fill all things is none other than the one who descended. And to some, his gift was that they should be apostles, to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, so that the saints together make a unity in the work of service, build up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself. Then the Gospel says, Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world 
proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so, the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place. While they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord welcomed with them and confirmed the word by the signs that accompanied it. Beloved, Ascension is the return of Jesus to his Father, 40 days after his resurrection. After his resurrection, he continued to prepare his apostles uh, and disciples to continue the mission, that is to be his witnesses. He prepared them for 40 days, ascended and allowed them to prepare themselves for 10 days before he empowered them to continue their mission. That is why the first reading said, he asked them to wait for a fulfillment, for the fulfillment of the Father's promise. And this promise was the Holy Spirit baptism. Then the second reading explains how they were to wait. It was to live a life worthy of their vocation as witnesses to Jesus. That is, by bearing with one another charitably in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. They were to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that bound them together. In other words, waiting for the outpouring is praying and making efforts to grow in unity with God and with one another. The more we become united with God and with one another, the more we are baptized in the Holy Spirit until such a point that it becomes an outpouring. This is demonstrated by Christ himself who became so selfless, so selfless that he descended to the lowest regions, the lowest regions of the earth and ascended again to the highest heavens. The rest of the second reading and the gospel shows that when we are baptized in the Holy Spirit, we will be equipped with gifts and ministries that will enable us to effectively witness to Jesus until the whole body of Christ becomes the, the perfect man. Therefore, as we, as, we wait, as we wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit by praying the Pentecost Novena uh, from tomorrow onwards, let's also make more efforts to grow in charity, to grow in selflessness, gentleness, patience, and in unity with God and with one another. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to descend in order to ascend. Amen. Kindly share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Your subscription will enable us to do more. The subscription is free, and the icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you always the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.